Hey, what is up? My name is Rubidium. Today we are looking at the new workhorse light of my productions, the Lupo Super Panel. So the Super Panel is a one by one, but with a difference. This thing is actually brighter than a RE2K. And the secret is this sort of lens um, coating over the LEDs. It makes the throw much more directional, much brighter. I got one of these a couple of months ago. I liked it so much. I got three more. Now I have four of them. Um, they're just the most powerful, versatile light uh, you can imagine. They are um, super, super bright. Uh, in both, importantly, in both daylight and in tungsten. They have a really directed throw. You're able to use them sort of as a spot and keep them far away from talent, or you can diffuse them and use them as a really bright, uh, a really bright diffuse source. They're dimmable um, all the way from, you know, 1% up to 100%. Um, you can get a version that's DMX controllable. They're light enough to put above talent to suspend in the ceiling to put you know three or four of them on one c stand uh with this triple header that i'll show you and really they just kind of like have become my building block of lighting what i've started doing on a lot of my productions is using this um, triple header uh expander from impact and putting uh two and two on either side to create sort of a, a four by four source that i then project through a six by six or eight by eight half grid um, cloth to create this massive um, very soft very powerful source that works as a, you know absolutely brilliant as a key instead of having um, the connection right at the bottom of the panel these are on a yoke so that you can get them um, you know horizontal really easily you can put them on the arm of a c stand have them over the top of talent you can even just shoot them at the ceiling like I'm doing now to just give an overall illumination to a scene. I almost never use them full up um, because they're so bright, but it's good to know that if I'm battling the sun or projecting through a window that I can. We just shot a Buster Rhymes um, Terrace Martin uh, project and we used these gelled red to illuminate the entire recording studio pointed up at the walls. This is a slightly different version uh, that has a um, layer of diffusion built into the panel itself. And you can get this uh, DOP choice snap bag that goes on the front. So this one comes with uh, half grid. If I turn my key off and push it off to the side here, you'll see it gives you a nice even illumination. That's one of the problems of the early one by one panels that um, you got a really weird staccato um, shadow pattern from the evenly arrayed lights of LEDs. These ones, super soft. The reason I like them is it's not like moving a, you know, a Kino 4x4 around. Um, they're just really slidable, really easy to manipulate for one person. You see here on the back, you see the fan going around, though, like I said, it's, it's totally silent. Um, you have on this particular one, you have um, DMX in and out. If you have the, the light super close to talent and you want to turn the fan off, it's an option. It'll only turn on again uh, when the unit is about to overheat. If you see in a lot of my videos, I have that blue light in the background. That's just one of these sitting on the ground with a one by one piece of CTB over it. You know, usually you lose so much of your exposure when you pass light through gel, but because these units are so overpowered, uh, you can, you know, pump a lot of light through them and get a really good saturation of color. Another accessory that you can get for these is the V-mount plates. So you can swap off the um, ballast, put on a V-mount plate, and then you can take your super light, super powerful light um, anywhere you want to go and power it with the same batteries that you power your camera and your other lights with. So you saw there that I'm able to swap from um, DC to VMAP battery plate in like less than a minute with no tools at all. You can also mount that uh, on the stand if you wanted to, or you could run it um, from a larger, you know, two battery or four battery charger into the light. It's just super versatile, really, really well made, um, made in Italy. It's kind of like a cut above a lot of the lights that you see. Can't say enough good things about the Lupa Super Panels. Uh, you, you've seen them in a bunch of my projects I've done so far, and you'll definitely see them in the, the projects 
coming up, versatile, modular, um, flexible. There's nothing else out there um, quite like them. So check them out. Look at the links in the description, uh, leave your questions in the comments, and I will see you next time.